The entire car industry is shocked to see the most significant invention brought forward by Toyota. Working so hard for the last few years, Toyota has eventually revealed the brand new insane engine in the car market. Isn't this a master stroke in terms of car development? I mean, it comes up with certain question marks. Which fuel does this engine use? Or how is it made? While other companies are busy producing electric cars despite getting the limelight, it didn't work for long. To become the beneficiary of the situation, Toyota decided to produce something out of the box that could attract customers. Well, this engine is the best referral to a hydrogen fuel cell for generating the finest green energy. Toyota itself needs no introduction at all. It brings quality to gain popularity in the market. Toyota has been producing the best quality variety of cars over the years. Every new model differs from the previous one, which signifies the certainty of how much depth Toyota has in producing innovative products. That doesn't mean that old models are ignored or devalued. In most parts of the world, you will find that people still tend to have the previous models of Toyota with the brilliant running condition. From this, we could readily assume that Toyota's products can last for years and decades. In this context, we will be discussing the new insane engine that Toyota has recently revealed and what change it brings to the vehicles. Toyota is mostly known for its high-profile engines and has been manufacturing the world's best engines. If you have a craze for cars, then, you must have heard about the Toyota Supra, which comprises an imperial turbocharging six-cylinder engine surrounded by aluminum heads and releases immense acceleration. These engines are known as R-Series engines, which entered the market in 1953. At that point in time, they weren't recognized that much, but now certain have got it right and inserted in almost every Toyota car, such as Toyota pickups and Toyota 4Runners. This engine lasted long for years because it was one of Toyota's last R-Series engines, but the quality of it was just unmatchable. The Toyota CEO, Akio Toyota, once stated, Toyota was once a startup company with short-term ambitions. Working with Tesla will enable us to prosper more and succeed with powerful incentives. Toyota's new dynamic force engine absorbs a high-speed combustion technology and fluctuating control system. Tesla is another name from the automobile industry that you would have heard about. It has been quite a while now since Tesla and Toyota have been competing with one another to succeed in the car market. Both companies have been working extremely hard on the engine of cars. Since Toyota unveiled its new insane engine, Tesla has been on the receiving end of it. Another Toyota engine that inspired the production is the new 4UGSE engine inserted in the powerful Scion FRS, which you may have known as the GT86 Coupe. Toyota didn't manufacture this engine, but partnered with another gigantic name, Subaru. The engine had Subaru's hallmark boxer design fittings and Toyota's go-to D4S combo port and injection system. Its speed could unleash 197 horsepower and 7,000 revolutions per minute. Its quality features enable it to drive on fast tracks, and its fuel efficiency is mind-blowing. We are returning to our major topic, Toyota's brand new engine just recently revealed. Now, if you have heard about Toyota's new engine invention, it would be unfair not to discuss the hydrogen fuel cell because it's almost linked with it. At the same time, this thing leaves us with a question. How does this cell work? Well, here are the features. The hydrogen fuel cell is most likely the reason that powers the hydrogen cell car, known as HFCV. The HFCV is substantially a different kind of electric car. They share resemblances and comparisons between them like the type of motor vehicle used to turn the wheels. Nonetheless, here is the significant difference in which the debate should take place. In this context, instead of being powered by a large, heavy battery, a fuelistic pump with pure hydrogen, animated in a membrane with oxygen approaches the reinstatement. This process combines hydrogen and oxygen to produce electricity and water vapors that turn the wheels. In simple words, the vehicle's fuel is identical to a deep-rooted hybrid series, However, the absence of hydrogen means that electricity won't be generated. However, getting hydrogen could be a complicated task. History tells us the story of the hydrogen element, undoubtedly the most abandoned element in the entire universe. Nonetheless, hydrogen is never found in its original state. That's why hydrogen tends to combine with another object present inside which could act to its advantage. The process of producing hydrogen needs immense energy to crack a bionic compound like natural gas into hydrogen with carbon dioxide, the byproduct. 
When you power the fuel cell, the hydrogen unconsciously releases back that energy in the form of alternating current. All that is left behind is the water vapors which are expelled through exhaust pipes. Hydrogen fuel cells provide us with enormous benefits that we can't ignore at this point. Driving at HFCV would be a peaceful and incredible experience, especially for those who love driving in a calm environment free of noise. These cars expel no carbon monoxides, so exhaust fumes only release water vapors. At the same time, they give you a kind of free hand not to worry about the recharge procedure as HFCV takes only 5 minutes or so for refueling. But currently, the only issue these models are facing is the lack of hydrogen fuel stations as it is restricted to only 60 fuel stations. In fact, they are mostly limited to California. Even with 60 stations, it's very complicated for people to find them online as some stations are currently unavailable. The majority of the drivers in California depend on apps to search for fuel stations when traveling. People might not convince their minds to accept hydrogen cell cars. Still, sooner or later, by overcoming their deficiencies, they might be considered in the future plans of manufacturers, investors, and customers for good. Speaking of engines, the dynamic force engine dominates due to its thermal efficiency and possesses the following features. The combustion engines, provoking power involves infiltrating and in considering a gasoline spray into the cylinders, which are incorporated with air. That's how much it takes in. Eventually, the piston starts cruising, which condenses the mixture into as little space as it can afford to colonize. This is known as compaction. The spark plug catches fire and lights the combination, which in response creates power, and the gas is torched off. However, Toyota kept the first gear metallic and made the other gears depend upon the usage of belts to enhance the performance and increase the vehicle's speed. Isn't that a brilliant move to succeed? Besides all this, the most noticeable point is that Toyota is improving its engine map processes to provide maximum thermal efficiency to cars. This tactic is known as marginal gain philosophy or the law of aggression of marginal gains, which we can utilize in our daily activities and now the entire universe is talking about this invention. Moreover, Toyota has set a benchmark for assembling the most eye-catching product in recent times as far as the automobile industry is concerned. Closing on the brand new engine, Toyota has recently revealed they have to make sure that it contains more and more attributes and the least amount of flaws so that it could attract customers' mindset to convince them to utilize hydrogen fuel cells in their cars before they plan to purchase the next model. So that's it for today. If you liked the video, consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel will be appreciated. Goodbye, take care. See you in another one.